in my last video, I had a topic that got a lot of y'all triggered in losing your mind. So be prepared to be deeply offended because I'm about to tell you the truth about yourself. Men have failed. I've got a story and more importantly, I got receipts. So let's start off with this. I'm selling this on eBay. This story will be very endemic to what's happening with men who have failed. And I'm just listing it on eBay. I'm just trying to sell it. And I get this question from a man who has failed. It's like, please don't, you know, don't take this the wrong way. Are you a scammer? So I know from years and years and years of eBay experience that when people ask questions like this, if they win, they typically tend to be problems. They want to refund. They want to return the items. So what I did, I insulted him. I insulted him with the best of my might. I called him a broke loser because at first it's like I started off somewhat sympathetic. I was like, look, dude, I drive a Porsche. I'm rich. I live in a million dollar place. I don't have to troll people on the eBay for view stuff. He, but once again, you fragile, you fragile yard bird of men. You're very, very, the, the, your inner woman comes out because then he wants to start this conversation. This fool replied not once, not twice, not three, but five times. Five times before I finally got rid of him because I wanted to make sure that he did not bid on the item because I knew he would be a problem. So where does this come from? Money. Now, one of, uh, there's, there's two issues. There's two issues that clearly demonstrated that men have failed. Number one, their ability to get a woman. And number two, only fans. Let me explain to you why these two episodes represent the failure of men. Number one, you can't get a woman. I got to say that you guys are some of the sorriest excuses of men. There was a guy that came out, Alpha Male Strategies, who talked about lying, tricking bamboozling women and y'all went for it like crazy because you will do anything to get the P. You'll do anything. You would lie. You would steal. You would cheat. And I'm going to say something. As a man, and for those of you who were around for the Disruptive Mail channel, when I was posting pictures and receipts, you know I'm telling the truth. It if getting a woman is the hardest thing you do, you're living a sad life because getting women is easy. Getting women is simple. But because you guys are wimps, you guys are pussy, it's a, such a struggle. Years and years ago, I was on, uh, what was it, that, that, Void that I forget the name of it, but the talking app. And there was this group of people that had this thing and spinning the bag on Valentine's Day. And this group of people were supposed to be investors. You know what the conversation turned to? Men whining about taking a woman on a date. You asking a woman out on a date and taking her and expecting her to pay for her food. This is what it turned into. They didn't want to hear anything that I had to say because of most of these folks who were pretending to be investors, pretending to have money, didn't have a dime. And they were just playing this game and talking on this board, this board. And you know what the board It's the voice app board where you had to have someone refer you and the people were going crazy. I don't know how it's doing now. I don't even remember the name. <sighs> Let's talk to the second thing. Because you punks and you wimps, and I'm not buying this, well, I choose not to participate. I choose not to mess with women. Fool. It is your biological imperative 
for you to seek out women and try to mate. That is in your damn DNA. I don't want to hear all this, well, I ain't, I ain't going to, because you're scared and you're a punk and you're a pussy. That's one of the reasons that you have opted out. But the second thing, OnlyFans. I put up a video talking about the death of the sugar daddy. The majority of men do not have the capacity to be a sugar daddy. They don't have no money. They can't do it. But they can pay $24 a month to see a woman strip, to see a woman flash pictures of her breast and her vagina and her butt. And it, many of these women have become quite successful. You got a woman who's got a thousand of you fools, thousand of you fools paying her to play with you. I don't go to strip clubs. I don't watch porn. You know why I don't go to strip clubs? And this started off some years and years ago. Why am I going to pay a woman to tease me? I can't touch it. She can't touch me. Not the way that I want to be touched. Why do it? Why do it? It made no sense to me. This is one of the reasons. And th this is something funny. I got one of those emails. This person who's like supposedly hacked my computer and they want me to pay him all this money in Bitcoin. This is hilarious. I have you masturbating in front of the computer and I'm going to share it with all your friends. I started laughing. You know why? Because I don't masturbate. I got women to handle those needs. I've not masturbated in maybe 25 years, 25 years. So when I got this email, I started cracking up because I don't watch porn. I don't masturbate. It, it was hilarious. But here's to you guys. You will pay a woman tons of money to be in the strip club so you can feel like a man because you got some money to spend on a woman who is not going to do anything for you unless you want to elevate it and the woman is an escort or a prostitute then you can get your jimmy's jump but you got to pay for it but only fans cam girls i do not see there's no interest in it for me to watch a girl on cam play with herself with a dildo Yes, then, but for you fools, you're keeping these girls, you're paying for these girls fancy cars, you're paying for their fancy houses because that's good enough for you. You don't want to take the effort and time to get to learn how women work. Women are not complicated. Women are not complicated. I'm going to tell you a little story. This happened years ago. This was. One time I was dealing with three women and one woman lived with me. Now, I just took it upon myself to go out and get two or additional women. There was no conversations. There was no talk. And the woman I was living with followed me to uh, one of my escapades. And she was outside waiting. She was outside waiting. And I saw her when I left and I was like, we'll talk when we get home. So we go home. I want you to understand what I'm, I'm telling you. This woman followed me to the house of another chick I had sex with and she confronted me and then we went home and we had a conversation and guess what she did that night? She sucked my dick after she came and saw me having sex with another woman. You fools can't get one woman. You can't get one woman. And at one point, I had a posse of women who were begging to be my number one. But you wimps struggle. You are frustrated to get one woman because you're wimps. And this is where men have failed. Men from back in the day used to get in the ship and sail to foreign lands. Men used to go to war with other tribes. Men used to build and do stuff. Not you guys who are satisfied with an OnlyFans account, who are satisfied to be trolling and in the 
inbox of pretty women because that's all you can do. You can't build nothing. You can't build anything. So those are just two of the areas. Let's get to the receipts. What have I been talking about the majority of my time here on YouTube? Start a business. Start a business. Start a business. At one point, I gave 19 free business courses away. Let me tell you what happened. 95% of the people who signed up for these business courses, they didn't even open them. They didn't even open them because they don't want to start a business. All they want to do is smoke weed, play video games, and have sex. They don't want to build anything. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to create anything. They're just big ass children. They're punk ass boys. Got to the point. It disrupted my email list, which I recently got rid of because I had a bunch of losers, punks and folks. Because let me go ahead and say, even though I would say 90 percent of my content was about starting business, holding companies, LLCs, that 10 percent on how to get pussy is what drew 90 percent of you. Once again, this whole notion, well, I ain't going to mess with no women. And oh, to the guy who's like, I got $140,000 equity. Really? My Porsche and my BMW in the garage are $350,000. And I guarantee you, you will not want to compare checking accounts because mine would make yours look so weak that you would run away with your tail behind your legs like a little dog. <laughs> Because you don't want to deal with big boy stuff. Ooh, and the only reason you have $140,000 in equity is because the real estate market changed. You didn't do nothing. You didn't build nothing. You didn't create anything. And all of you, well, you know, men are finally waking up. <sighs> Weak, sad. Second receipt. Early on this year, I went through a lot of changes with my YouTube programming and I was posting business content, which failed on this channel because you punks and losers don't want to start a business. You don't want to be accountable. You don't want to build an ecosystem that's already built. I got an email message from someone who watched me. And he's like, look, dude, I've been listening to you for years. I took your advice. I got out of debt. And he said, I got two, I'm dating two women. See, the people who listen and take action are living better lives than you punk and losers who are failing in life. Men have failed. Because see, from a biblical perspective, men are supposed to lead and rule a society. You guys ain't leading shit. Y'all ain't leading nothing. Nothing. So I gave you free business courses, which you didn't want. I put up business advice on this YouTube channel, which you refuse to look at. And receipt number three, y'all are only interested in some bullshit. You're not interested in how to build a world. And over the years, I got more receipts. I spent $400,000 on some rental cars, showed you the titles, showed you the proof. Didn't matter. Y'all don't want to do that. You don't want to be responsible. You don't want to lead anything. You don't want to be a man. That's why you failing. And there's a lot of you that left this comment. You sissies, you punks, you, 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 you're a feminine men. Very feminine because you got very bitchy. You got really, really bitchy in the comment section. Well, man, we ain't failed. I'm, we just choose not to operate and deal with this. And to the, the sad sucker, I was divorced two times. Dude, I have kept women on rotation, multiple rotations for years. And you cannot satisfy and maintain a marriage that says more about you than it does about her. Men have failed. You don't want to do nothing. 
You don't want to build anything. You don't want to create anything. You just want to smoke weed, play video games, have sex. Oh, and be respected for being nothing. Be respected. You don't want to work hard and all and it, it gets even worse. During this TikTok thing, there was a guy that came on and was talking about minimum wage was $4,500 during the Great Depression. I knew that was immediately a lie. Minimum wage was $1,200 to $1,800 per year. People were making $100 to $150 per month. How did I know this? This is something I researched years ago. So I knew this, this is the weakness of men. Men are making up historical facts to make their failure in life look better than it is. You're failing as a man. If you don't have your own economy, you're failing as a man. You're failing as a man. Essentially, anytime I talk about being a man and having a woman and paying all the bills, oh, you you guys go nuts. You lose it because you don't want to be responsible. You don't want to build anything. You don't want to create anything. You don't want to do anything. You, no, 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 no. Miss me with that. You're failing. And let me go ahead and tell you what's going to happen, because there are some of you who are 30. There are some of you who are 40. There are some of you who are 50 and there are some of you who are 60. Let me predict the future for you failed men. You're going to be by yourself because you, you choose not to participate in the dating market. You don't want to be with no woman because all these women are three or foes. They hoes and tricks and they just trying to take. Oh, how can they take shit when you don't have shit that I'm just crack. Yeah. You know, get with a woman that she takes half half of nothing is nothing. You don't have shit. You ain't build shit. You don't even own a house. You don't even own a house. You have nothing. Yet for some reason, you're scared just like this punk on eBay with this, this, this brand new MacBook. And he was like, well, are you a scammer? Because, you know, that's a lot of money. And you, 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 you. I'm just sitting there like Fear. Fear. You guys are so scared. I ain't going to get married. I'm not going to have uh, women. I'm not going to have children with a woman. Uh, I'm just going to go out here and be nothing. So let me go ahead and get back to your future. Because you don't want to participate women because you don't have the skills. Um, you're going to be alone. And you're going to be in bad health because the majority of you don't work out. You don't even know what the inside of a gym looks like. And you're fat, broke, and lazy. And for some reason, you feel that you could get a passport and go to a foreign country and get you a fine little woman with your broke ass. You're going to be alone. You're going to die alone. You're going to be fat, broke, and alone. And at some point, when you're about 65, you're going to raise your head up. You're going to raise your little head up and you're going to like, oh, shit, I fucked up. I fucked up because see, you guys aren't participating in life. You're losers. You're punks. And this is one of the reasons that I took down all the male content. And, oh, yeah. Stop asking me. Hey, Glenn, how can I find your old videos? Dumbass. If I wanted you to see them, you could find them. Stop fucking asking me why you can't find my old fucking videos. I'm on a new paradigm shift. I'm rebuilding my business because you men are failing. You don't want to do anything. You're cheap. You're broke. You ain't done shit in your life. And I, I was watching this YouTuber who said something that I 100% agree with. When Alan Roger Curry died, his brother put up a GoFundMe. I donated 2500 because Alan was my dude. He didn't get no money. You want to know why? Let me explain why. And uh, this guy, he actually hit it on. He, Alan built a community of folks who did not want to spend any money. 
Now, fortunately for me, I did not make the mistake, Alan, rest in peace, that Alan did. Because I made a lot of money. Because I put out a lot of content, a lot of training about how to start a business, how to LLCs. And this has made me millions. So, fortunately for me, all the men who watch this channel are not losers, bums, and broke. I've had a lot of people buy my courses. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. But I got to the point where I just got disgusted because when I went into my YouTube analytics and saw that 85% of my audience was watching dating channels, I knew 90% of the content was business, 10% was about dating. But that 10% drew 90% of you. 90% of you. And I knew that I had to make a change. So I'm making some changes. But yeah, men are failing. And all you men who are failing, who ain't trying to build shit, who ain't trying to create shit, you're going to die alone. As Kevin Samuel said to this woman, he could have been talking to the majority of men. You're going to die alone. There will not be anyone to take care of you. I remember this one guy. He put up this video talking about he had a rental property and he had this tenant and he didn't hear from his tenant. And he got to the point where he was a victim and they broke into the apartment and found out the dude had died on his sofa. That's what's waiting for a lot of you losers. You're going to die in your house alone. There ain't going to be nobody checking up on you. I had a heart attack in 2019. I had so many people checking up on me, looking out for me. Hey, Glennon, what's going on? What's up? Friends and family. Uh uh, they ain't happening for you. You're going to die alone on the sofa with the television watching you. That's what's in store for all of you losers because men are failing. Men have failed massively because men are supposed to be the leader of society. Men are supposed to be the builders of society. Men are supposed to lead. And the majority of you guys are failing. And I'm going to go ahead and address that comment section. I'm going to put this video in there. And if you want to get raw, raw and try to fight back, guess what's going to happen to your dumb ass? You're going to get blocked and deleted. Because see, I have that power because I've actually built something in life. I've actually created something in life. You can go to the Google thing and go to Amazon and see I've written books. I've created courses. And once again, I've done something with my damn life. But the majority of you ain't doing shit. And the majority of you are going to die alone. There ain't going to be no one checking on you. You don't, you know, unless maybe you are like someone who's had five different kids by five different women and maybe you've established a good relationship with them maybe that'll help you out but a lot of you guys are going to die alone and the, 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 like every time like the whole thing with the passports well get your passport and go abroad and get you a woman every time I hear that I crack up I crack up you don't have to leave the United States to find a woman if you are a true man, you don't have to, but a lot of you are doing it because you're weak, you're timid, you're feminine, you're moist, you're moist. And once again, I'm making this video to run all you little moist, weak little boys off because it, I mean, this whole thing, shaming language. If somebody like, let, let's talk about shaming language. Uh, Shaky Daniels made a video about me and the, the Internet went crazy and I had people coming after me, harassing me. And what did I do? I fought back. I pissed them off. They would leave comments and I would delete their comments. And they were like, stop deleting the comment because that's all the fuck they had was a comment. Did they mess with my money? No. Did they actually do anything? No. But because these weak, broke, simple ass people, that's all they live for drama. They don't live to build anything. They don't live to create anything. Uh, all they live for is drama. And they try to drag me back into it. Uh, the gay attorney, Shaky Daniels, they put up videos and I refuse to. Because see, here's the thing I've learned. 
when you participate and dance with fools, another fool enters the dance. I'm not playing their games. I won't play my game. Because, see, I know something that they don't. That people who work hard and build things and do the correct things will be successful. And they ain't going to die alone. Like, more than likely, some of them will. But once again, shaming language? You punks have not ever gone through what I have gone through on the internet. And you're like, if someone puts up, oh, it's shaming. I need, to, I'm all triggered. I'm triggered. Let me tell you what you are. You're not triggered. You're weak. You're weak as fuck. You're weak. That's where you are. You're weak. You will never build anything. You will never be a person that's going to have something to say for themselves. And this shaming language. Be careful. Be careful. I, my name is Glendon Cameron. I ain't afraid of you fools. I ain't afraid of you punks. Y'all ain't going to do shit. Because if you don't want to invest the energy in making your life better, I don't have shit to worry about. I don't have nothing to worry about. You don't want to start a business to make your life better, to have more money. I started a business. 2019, I had a heart attack. One of the reasons I'm still alive is because I started that business and I was living in Sandy Springs and I was close to some of the best medical care on the planet. That's how a business saved my life. But y'all, y'all don't want to do that. Well, 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 I want to start a business so I can get some money so someone can like me. What about starting a business so you can have some money so you can support yourself and do well in life? What about that? No, men are failing. Men are failing. So for the men who stayed to the end, I'm going to put up an email list. Uh, I'm going to do some new training for the men who don't want to be failures, for the men who actually want to have something in life. And I'm going to put a link down for you people to sign up for that email list. So we will see. Because, you know, I, I found it funny that on the old email list, I had a bunch of weak losers and haters and haters. Because, you know, just like I told the fool on eBay with this computer I drive a Porsche I drive a brand new Porsche I ain't lie and this is something else what, growing up I knew that there were other men who were more successful than me for some reason because you a loser because you're struggling everybody gotta be struggling because because you're a loser and you think like a loser and you act like a loser. And that's why you think everyone is on your basic level, basic level. I'm here to tell you, everybody ain't basic, man. Everybody ain't struggling. I have not felt inflation. I bought a brand new Porsche in the middle of inflation. I ain't felt it. But once again, you punks, you peasants. And yeah, I, I, I laugh. I laugh at you fools because you have a choice. You can start a business or you can continue to be broke. It's a choice. And many of you choose the loser way. You choose to be a loser. So, yeah, I'm laughing at you. And, you know, oh, he's laughing at us. We should be careful who we support. Motherfuckers, all y'all going to support is bullshit. Y'all ain't going to support any real business channels. And that's why there is no successful real black business channel there isn't one that should tell you something that should tell you something right there